Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial uh, on James Random Tips. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Logitech Gaming G600 mouse. Um, this video is going to assume that you already have the Logitech Gaming software installed. However, if you do not already have it installed, uh, there is a link in the description below. Uh, please check that out, download the software, and we will get right into it. So there are two different um, steps here, uh, two different options that you can choose for your gaming mouse. One is automatic game detection. This is what I personally use because I switch through games and I also have a Logitech G13 gamepad uh, where you can check out that video set up as well uh, in the description below. I will link it there. Um, now, <clears throat> I will be doing both steps, um, and just to give you a quick rundown, we're going to go and start with uh, the onboard memory. Now, the onboard memory means that whatever you do to your mouse, it'll be saved onto the mouse itself. So if you play on a laptop occasionally, or go to a buddy's house and play on their computer and you bring your mouse, basically all of your setup will be uh, saved onto the memory of the mouse and you won't as long as the software is installed on that computer that you're using it won't have to you won't have to mess around with it too much um, so I'm just gonna give you a brief overlook on here uh, as I will be going into more detail with the um, automatic game detection setting but as you can see here uh, if you click down at the bottom this is where you can start changing uh, your key binds to your mouse. Uh, you can also change your buttons to um, different types of things. There's going to be um, a vast array of DPI switches or like profile switching. Um, so you can do all that here. And <clears throat> excuse me, here is where you can custom your DPI setting. Uh, DPI is dots per inch, and that just means um, how how quickly your mouse will move across the screen. Um, how many pixels it will actually go. So um, that's also where you can make a setup here. Um, and again, if you like your customization, which is really nice, I like uh, really like about this program is lots of color coordination. You can also do lighting effects. You can cycle all sorts of things, pulse, um, and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's the generic overview. If you want to just quickly do something up and have it saved on your mouse. Now we're going to head back home here and switch to automatic game detection and we're going to hop right into it here. <clears throat> so as you can see I already have some profiles set up. Um, this is previous from um, my gamepad. Now what I have set up here uh, we're just gonna let's see. Alright so what I have right now, as you can see, is I have World of Warcraft selected. And this is my setup for World of Warcraft uh, keybinds. Um, basically, it's instead of it's just modifying using shift plus a number. Um, you can use basically anything that's not bound in WoW or if you want to change keybinds. Uh, for example, the num number pad works great. You can use all those buttons where. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, all that kind of stuff. Um, so don't be afraid to try different keybinds, whatever works for you. I mean, um, there may be some issues if you have a keyboard that has like certain function functionalities where you hit a certain key and it may do something else. Um, just be aware of that. Um, also, the shift uh, modifier doesn't all work in every game, so you may want to double check what game you're running and if it even accepts it. Um, that's when you would probably want to use the number pad. So <clears throat> we're just gonna just gonna show you here really simple. Um, I'm just gonna make this on a sign for now. So if you want to set up a keybind, you basically you can right click it or you can double click it, doesn't matter. Um, and it'll bring up this menu. Here it's really simple. You can just choose whatever you want. So I'm gonna go shift one 
and bam, it'll show you. You can change the name of it if you want. If it's a very specific uh, command that you want to make sure that you know that's what it's for, you can change the name there. Um, well, another cool feature uh, that I didn't feature in my previous video is this repeat option. Um, it's kind of acts like a spammer. It's good for MMOs. Um, most games, uh, including World of Warcraft, uh, don't mind spammers as long as it's not uh, done by a robot or anything like that. As long as it's a person pressing the key, they're generally okay with that. So I generally run, um, I, well, I generally used to run. I don't use the spammer as much anymore, but while pressed, 15 milliseconds probably your best bet here and then you just hit OK if that's what you want to do um, and then if you want to change it you can go sorry I did that kind of fast you can right click again go to edit command and then boom you're back here again and you can do whatever you want um, if you don't like this key bind you just simply click clear or you can even do it even simpler right click unassign boom and that will free up whatever you want to do so I'm just going to quickly bring that back up to that. Okay, and that's that's all you have to do. That's It's really simple setup here. Um, and um, so here, what the only thing I did differently, honestly, is uh, because this mouse has a third button and I use a gamepad and I ran out of buttons, basically. I didn't want to have another button for, uh, say, push to talk in voice chat. I used a third button for push to talk. Um, so that's a good way if you are in the similar boat where you don't really want to use a key um, on your keyboard for that. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, su would suggest using that third mouse button. And um, for me personally, um, I also play a lot of FPS's where DPI cycling can come in handy. So I basically just edit it and went to mouse functions here and this will also give you some dpi dpi up down shift um where you can switch profiles here g shift um all that kind of stuff um for now for me i have it on dpi cycling mainly for SP fps purposes and that's really it honestly um here you can see that there's different um types of oh wow you can see that <laughs> I don't have any of them set to the right DPI, but yes, there are different modes you can select. Um, I honestly just keep it on the one and make a new profile. I find it a lot easier to manage that way. Um, and that's just a personal preference. You can do whichever way you want. So that's really all there is. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And you want to save that profile, make sure you save it. Um, now uh, I shared this in my previous video but um, if you are having issues with the automated detecting for your mouse normally you have to go into properties and you'll actually have to select the exe that you use um, that you want to use this profile with otherwise it's not going to auto detect and it can be kind of annoying and a little bit finicky so basically if you want to do that you just go add here, add application. Oops, sorry, no, don't do that. Uh, choose application, and then you go through your, your um, go through your stuff. Find it. I have it in my games here, uh, World of Warcraft. And boom, and then you just select that, <coughs> open it up, and it'll appear here. So whenever you hop into the game or load the game, it should automatically detect that that's the game you're running, and that's the profile it'll select for your mouse. Um, so we're going to move on here. Now here is the DPI settings. This is completely up to you. There is no real good way of doing this. Um, it's all about personal preference. For me, I tend my screen has a really high resolution, so I tend to need a little bit higher DPI, say, than the average user. I run a 1440p 27-inch monitor, so it's quite big, lots of resolution, and so I run a higher uh, DPI. Now the one thing that you do want, you you will want a, the highest report rate here, so you want to make sure that's selected. Uh, it just means it's a little bit more accurate. Um, now if you want to 
normally I believe this starts off with a default one or two you can just simply add more by going uh, cycling through here um, and so these are my settings <coughs> excuse me um, I think the stocks are normally at 1600 dpi which again is pretty no normal it's good for most people um, but yeah you can easily just select this you can scale it through this way um, it's totally up to you um, and the interesting thing is is you can actually choose here which one you want to be your default when you go to that profile um, so currently I have the first one set um, as default and as you can see if I hit default little diamond here hovers over it um, I'm gonna be completely honest I don't really know what a sign shift does um, if you know or have a little uh, if you want to uh, mess around with that a little bit go for it and uh, please leave a comment and let me know cuz um, again I haven't really looked much into it so and that's how you assign a default um, now here advanced options uh, enable per profile pointer settings now this is where I basically have it so it only goes per profile it's not generic DPI across all of my profiles um, you can e simply do that and it won't the DPI will just stay as to whatever you want on every facet that you're working on whether it be your desktop your any game MMO FPS all that kind of stuff um, me personally I really like to have it set to a specific profile so I know um, if something has changed or if maybe the software isn't working correctly I can diagnose that problem so that's basically it for DPI settings um, and if you feel like I've missed anything in any of what I've told uh, spoke about to, uh, already uh, please let me know um, so yeah now we're gonna move on to the fun stuff again great customization um, I really enjoyed I tend to f pick colors that associate with the game I'm playing so again I can check my I can look at my lighting on my mouse if I don't have this open say and I can see if it's on the correct profile or not which is really nice so um, I'm just gonna give you a little quick rundown you can choose whatever color you want you can customize it this way this way um, let's uh, let's just go with a nice orangey color or those junk that's a very brown that's not very orange and then let's see and then boom you can also choose the uh, darkness and brightness of said color um, and again I have it set to enable per profile backlight settings so you can uh, disable that have it across your entire thing and uh, it won't ever change um, some really uh, interesting little things is these lighting settings lighting effect um, basically cycle lighting as it shows here it just cycles through some colors there's uh, no real thing to it pulse lighting it will keep your color that you selected but it will pulse in and out and you can actually change the uh, the the speed of which it does it you can be really slow really fast so um, lighting sleep timer that's just if your mouse is inactive for however long it'll turn off the lighting thus it'll save some power um, and yeah and that's basically it uh, for this tutorial to be honest um, definitely not a lot to it it's a quite simple process um, if you have any questions concerns comments please please let me know um, do not hesitate I want to make sure I get all the information conveyed as best as possible um, so if you like this video please subscribe like and comment um, also check out my other video I uh, really appreciate all the support and any feedback for uh, for this video uh, thanks so much for watching everybody this has been James Random Tips and I hope to see you again soon